When I was a child, we lived in a house that stayed quite cold in winter. On frozen nights, we'd put our sleeping bags by our wood stove, and my father would read to us. We had purchased two baby goats a few weeks before, and unfortunately, due to a congenital issue, one of them had passed away. The other was very sad and afraid of being alone, and so until we were able to get him some new friends, he would spend the evening with us on our sleeping bag, wrapped in towels. I have a distinct memory of watching the baby goat, ears pricked, listening in on the storytelling as if he could completely understand. It will always be one of my favorite memories from my childhood. My father was sometimes deployed in the military and gone for a year at a time. So when we all sat together, listening to the sound of his voice over the crackling flames, everything felt right and safe. Even now, I like to spend chilly evenings wrapped up in a blanket with a good book next to my furnace, putting away my phone and taking time to clear my mind of racing thoughts and worries. My father's favorite books to read were about myths and legends of ancient peoples. One of my favorites was a children's encyclopedia of Greek mythology. A story that came to mind the other day as I was collecting lilacs was one about a beautiful wood nymph named Sidinja. She spent her days running through the meadows and dancing with the wild rabbits and fawns. One day, the spirit Pan saw her and was jealous of her happiness, wanting it for his own. So he decided to steal her away from the hills and mountains. But Sidinja was a fairy's child and afraid of Pan's wily ways. So she turned herself into a lilac bush and eluded him. Now, every time the lilac blooms, the sweet scent of the nectar is Sidinja's loving offering to the insects and animals. Wishing you a lovely day or night, full of dreams and stories and other wonderful, whimsical thoughts. Sending my love. Today, I was in an experimental mood and I decided to try reinventing one of my favorite 
Puerto Rican desserts. And the dessert that I was taking inspiration from is called arroz con dulce. Since I love arroz con dulce, I decided to, instead of use raisins, to replace them with lilac flowers. And in retrospect, I think I would have just infused the milk with lilac and just made it without the blooms themselves in the mix. But it was still really good, so I really, really liked it. And I'll leave both recipes below and so you can take a look at them. They're just wonderful. I highly recommend both. And thank you to everyone who has reached out wondering how I'm doing now that I'm working more from home. And I would say that it's been really nice, but I do miss my students. So I'm very excited to visit them and hopefully get a little kinder group together to do some art classes in the future. Um, it's, it's a very exciting idea to me. So I hope that will happen soon. But yes, I am really enjoying it. It's kind of an interesting new phase of my life that has been taking a little bit of adjustment, but it's nice to spend more time at home as well. Um, but it can be a challenge too. So I'm learning as I go.